So the parts for your next vehicle could come from a printer. How about that? It's tonightsdaily.com. 3D printers are used for a lot these days. Jewelry, coasters, prosthetics, and so much more. The technology first coming onto the scene in the 80s. It's advanced. Companies are coming up with more ways to use them. Now, one of the world's largest automaker is looking at using them to make car parts. Yeah, Volkswagen saying it's found a way to use 3D printers by printing gear knobs and custom tailgate lettering. And this isn't a down the road sometime in the next decade plan either. Volkswagen is one to mass produce structural parts within two to three years. Not going too crazy though, in manufacturing a complete vehicle, just the few parts. To be fair, 3D printing isn't unheard of in auto manufacturing. It has been used for prototypes. So why take it further? Well, consider this. The typical Volkswagen is built using up to 8,000 parts. With 3D printing, the company says it can produce many of those parts without first having to build manufacturing tools. And that would save them money. Volkswagen already has 90 3D printers in its facilities, which are used to make replacements for rare parts. But the automaker saying the new technology can also allow for highly stressed parts like pistons to be printed. It's pretty easy the way it works. The printer spits out layer upon layer of multiple material until they're baked into a single piece. For its part, HP says its new metal printing service won't just be limited to car parts. So you could be seeing more of this technology down the road. And as I mentioned, those are HP metal 3D printers that are being used. About the news, HP CEO saying the implications are huge. The auto, industrial, and medical sectors alone produce billions of medical parts every year. So that's not the only tech story, though, out there making headlines. On Twitter, Verizon announcing its 5G internet and TV service will launch in October. You can find me on the Twitter at Lenny Slagon.